All right. So this first story is submitted by somebody named Run Don't Walk. Eh, isn't that the name of a YouTube channel? Hmm. The guy that has a cat is his avatar. Uh, pretty good channel, by the way. All right. Uh, so it starts. So I went to a sex club. All right. I don't understand sex clubs. I mean, granted, I understand people want to have sex, but uh, eh, yeah, I mean, wouldn't there be like lots of diseases and gross, gross uh, seconds? I mean, one second, let me uh, test uh, Skype here just to make sure it's working. But yeah, who the hell would want to uh, go to a sex club? You, you get somebody else's sloppy seconds or sloppy thirds. Oh, the sex is easy. Hey, you walk in, hey, let's have sex. Some broad has sex with you. You could be a blob, a schlub, and she'll probably still bang you. <laughs> right? Well, so what? Yeah, not too much uh, bolstering of one's self-esteem in that, right? Yeah, you're uh, not going to get much confidence out of that. Well, you know, it's a place where they'll bang almost anybody. The Michelin man can walk in with his dick hanging out, and they'll bang him too. Mm. Yeah, it's not very flattering, right? Hello, welcome to Skype call. Shut up, bitch. Why has it got to be some limey bitch's voice? What the fuck is that about? Good Lord. All right, so, yep, it's working. Get this uncomfortable headset off my fucking head. I got to get some kind of Bluetooth fucking earbuds or something. That thing is annoying. Uh, okay, so I went to a legit sex club. High libido male here. I don't know, what does that mean, legit sex club? As opposed to an uh, illegitimate <laughs> sex club? I guess they had a license as opposed to not having a license. I don't know how that helps you avoid STDs. But anyway, he goes on to say, it was eye-opening and fucking amazing. Oh, Yve, I'm talking about ancient Rome here. Good God. I didn't have sex with any women, but I watched both sexes engage in sex and other sexual activity. He <laughs> teaches own, I guess. God. What was most to me? Can you imagine this back in the 50s? They had something like that back in the 50s, right? They were, uh, 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 you know, swinger parties, uh, um, key parties, right? You would bring your keys in, you toss them into a fishbowl, and you essentially had no, toy, uh, no choice, right? So if you're like Ed Mertz, is, uh, <laughs> tosses his keys in the bowl, and you're some uh, good-looking broad, you might have to fuck Ed Mertz, right, if you want to keep going to these parties. So you pick his key out. Who's my partner? I am, baby. Right, you got some big fat guy. Uh, looks like uh, that guy from the Honeymooners. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's one reason I'd be against these kind of parties. Oh, my God. I might have to bang Tess Holiday or some shit. <laughs> uh, no doubt she has to go to places like this to get laid, where essentially it's uh, uh, mandatory if you want to keep going, right? I can't imagine anybody wanted to bang her voluntarily. I guess there are guys out there with fat fetishes, but Jesus Christ. I would think even if you had a fat fetish, you would have some standards. I mean, you wouldn't want to bang that. What is she, like 450 pounds? Jesus Christ. So he goes on to say, what was most amazing was how open and free these people were. Gay, straight, it didn't make a difference. I'm straight, by the way. Yeah, how, how, how open and free. Yeah, they're walking around with their dicks hanging in the breeze. I mean, they're pretty free, yeah. <laughs> Nobody judged anybody. Well, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't go there to judge people. You're going there to have sex. I was jealous of everyone there. Oh, boy. Low confidence, wuss boy. Just go and grab some broad. That's what they're there for. Anyone have a similar experience? Update. I just had sex. All I had to do was ask. Yay, me. <clears throat> and do you feel better about yourself, Pinhead? You little beta wimp. Do, do you feel better? Man, man, oh, man. Yeah, some people might say, Ooh, more power to him. Okay. But what's the underlying issue here that you have to go to a sex club in the first place, huh? that you have very low self-esteem and no self-confidence. And I don't see how this is going to help that. I mean, it's kind of degrading, don't you think? I don't know. That's not for me. I mean, you do whatever you want, right? Nobody's being harmed. You're not harming anybody. You're not forcing anybody to do anything. You're not initiating violence. I mean, there's nothing, quote-unquote, immoral here in a sense, although you could argue that you are doing harm to yourself in the long term, harm to your psyche. Uh, your self-confidence, your ability to respect yourself. You could say in that sense it was somewhat immoral, but, eh, you know, I'm not that prudish or judgmental, but I don't think this would be good for you, honestly. I know most of you guys out there would think, this is great, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I 
don't, I'm not so sure. 